Oh, hey there. So whenever somebody buys a house, then here's kind of the process, all right? First, you look at the house, you're like, okay, yeah. And then you give it an offer. And this offer usually is a contract and the contract has terms and a price limit and um, guarantee of funds, uh, proof of funds, sorry. And also what's called earnest money, okay? Now, the reason why is because no contract is legal and binding without money exchanging hands. So you can sign something and they can sign something. It basically means nothing. But if you sign something and they sign something, you're like, here's proof that I'm gonna complete this deal. Here's some money. Then, and it's, you know, an appropriate amount of money. Then, you know, the people that matter take it seriously and they go, okay, this is a real deal and we'll actually look at this. And so then you take it to a title company and, you know, some time passes and there's, um, some things that happen, but eventually you close on the house and then, you know, the new owner owns it and the old owner, you know, sells it to them. So, uh, that is an interesting thing, I think, but also it's interesting because Jesus calls the Holy Spirit our earnest money. Okay. So he's like, I'm coming back. I'm going to bring you to heaven, and here's proof of funds, if you will. Here's my earnest money. Here's something that says I'm serious. I'm giving you my spirit. I'm giving you my spirit in your heart so that you feel that spirit guiding you. You feel your conscience guiding you. Um, and oftentimes, people are like, what proof do you have that God exists? And you're like, I know. Like, I know in my heart because he is there, and I watch him guide me throughout every day. And it is the earnest money, it is my down payment, it is proof of funds that Jesus is real and that he's coming back to take me home to heaven one day. So.